Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today we got nerfed. Yes, this Tuesday we are sadly getting nerfed. It was fun while it lasted. So today I'm going to go over, through, go over the nerfs, give you my thoughts, kind of what, you know, how we're going to be probably when nerfs go through and just how I plan on gearing after that. PvE, we actually got a 3% buff. Uh, these do not affect PvP, uh, clearly, as it says. So we got a 3% buff in PvE, which is cool. I don't know. I, this is good. Any buffs are good in PvE, so we'll take that. But mo all of our nerfs are in PvP. So, a little developer note here. Mistweavers have been overpowering compared to other healers, especially due to mana efficiency. Sad days, they realize it. Uh, Soul Fang Infusion now regenerates 75% less mana in PvP combat, was 50%. So this is our two set bonus. Even though our two sets gonna be nerfed, I still think you want the four set. So we're still gonna get the two set. I think this is gonna restore 0.75% of our mana. Again, I don't know if it's that big a deal. It, it, this proc was really RNG. So there were some games where I would get like 5K mana. Some games I'd get like 30K mana, which in the grand scheme really isn't that much mana. Just go for it, try to go for a drink instead. So I don't think this nerf to our tier is that big a deal. It is a little annoying though, because obviously some people have better tier sets than us, right? Just, just the same thing happened in Shadowlands. We didn't have a good tier set in PVP. And as soon as everyone got tier, everyone just went, got like way better and we kind of fell behind. So the same thing might happen with our two set. I think our four set is still good though. So it's probably still worth going for the four set. That's what I'm going to do. But I, I will probably keep an eye on it. And if our force set is like lackluster or if we're losing too many stats, then I think we might just not use tier set at all. Next, we have Zen Spheres cost 0.5% of our base mana. This is actually a pretty big nerf, in my opinion. So Zen Spheres right now cost no mana and have no cooldown. I'd rather have them have a cooldown than cost mana. But so now they're going to cost 0.5% mana, which is really annoying because you want to have one on your teammate and one on the enemy. So. This is going to eat away at our mana. I think in general, you're probably still going to play Zen Spheres, but you're just not going to be able to spam it, which I guess is a good thing. It's kind of toxic to be able to <laughs> put a 10% damage increase permanently on somebody. So in general, Sphere of Hope, I don't see it getting purged that often. I think it's going to be really good versus non-purged teams. That way you get the full value out of the 30 seconds you have on a teammate. And then for the Sphere of Despair, I think you're going to want to put that on enemies when your team is using the burst cooldowns pretty much. Just give your team an extra 10% damage while they're they're doing you know their main damage rotation so i think that's that's gonna be kind of the strategy i'm gonna use the mana is kind of annoying um definitely i definitely hate losing because of mana i don't think any healer should lose because of mana you should lose because you got outplayed probably the biggest nerf that we're gonna see right now is the nerf to enveloping mist now heals for five percent more in pvp was 20 percent. so this is a 15 percent nerf to our best heal and i don't know if i have a solo shuffle i might have a solo shuffle i, I do have a solo shuffle let me see if i take a look at the healing breakdown for it I think Enveloping Mist and Solo Shuffle is my top heal. Yeah, so this right here is probably probably why they nerfed our Enveloping Mist. It's just our top heal by far, just so far ahead. So take away 15% of this is probably still one of our top heals. So I, it, it is going to be noticeable, but I think we're still going to be okay. It's just kind of unfortunate because Enveloping Mist is so strong. So this nerfs us in both Solo Shuffle and Normal Arena. And... In my opinion, I think you're probably going to want to run haste or you're going to want to run mastery over haste a little bit more. That's what I've been trying to run. I've been trying to run like maybe 15% haste. This scales up in PvP. So this is like 13% haste with like 150% mastery. I think I'm going to try to get to like 16% haste with 130% mastery in PvP. And I think that's going to be a pretty good sweet spot. But yeah, I think you're going to want to favor mastery over haste now. Um, obviously, I still need to test it when this Tuesday when it comes out. I think you're still going to want to play a little haste i don't know i it's, i need to test it to see and then finally mistweaver monk mana regeneration 15 percent less mana and regenerate 15 percent less mana pvp was 10 so they don't know what to do with our mana with, when it comes to this change so at the start of the expansion it was um 15 and then they buffed it to 10 percent, and now they brought it back down to 15 percent. it's weird i don't know they don't know what they want to do with the mana regen which um by the way at the beginning of the expansion if you remember we were running out of mana very very quickly so this this change right here would have been enough to nerf our mana because again at the beginning of the expansion we were struggling on mana but now that we have a nerf to our zen spheres and this i think we're going to be we're going to be hurting our mana for a little bit i think i think what you're going to want to do i am surprised that they, they didn't nerf our common coalescence i'm going to be quite honest with you i really thought that that was going to take a hit it didn't they didn't nerf it so in my opinion my thoughts on these nerfs are you're going to want to save your life cocoon for drinks for sure, like, um, 
I think common coalescence is gonna be massive. Get try to get 50 stacks of common coalescence, put a giant cocoon on somebody, and then run and get a drink. I think you're also gonna wanna wanna run mastery over haste a little bit more, just favor it a little bit. I'm gonna try to put a build together that kind of favors that i did make some engineering bracers that only have one stat but they have a ton of that one stat so i'm gonna try that and yeah that's gonna be my game plan pretty much um as well as just try to avoid as much damage as you can you can't zen you can't spam zen spheres anymore so try to save it for your teammate when they're dying and save it for when your teammates are going for you know their burst rotation i have started dropping them versus like red warrior just because i don't think we need extra damage but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been I've been doing. And then that's pretty much it for this. The nerf to development is a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, you're probably going to have to go get more drinks. I'm not going to lie. I might have to go back to Night Elf as well. I think Gnome was good. Gnome was pretty fun. But uh, I, if they they haven't nerfed Boomy, so maybe it's still going to be good. But Night Elf, getting the sh putting a life cocoon on somebody and then Mel drinking is massive. That's It's going to be game breaking especially in normal arena if you're gonna do shuffle i think gnome is still good but yeah those are my thoughts that's pretty much it would love to know what you guys have to have to say about it very unfortunate we had our two weeks we had our two weeks it was a lot of fun <laughs> but uh now you know we'll let the Druids and the preservation evokers and the arch shaman overlords uh take it from here so i will see you all later hope everyone has a fantastic day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later